Last time on, the complete and utter annihilation of the Homo sapien race. 2. What you got for me? I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Me? Only information that may lead to the discovery of the secret base. If you do not rescue me, KGB will kill me. Then you will never find the base, ne? We cannot contain the virus. We have no choice but to kill the cure. Let me show you how it's done. Yippee ki yay, Mother Russia. Hello, and welcome to a new episode of Destroy All Humans 2. In this episode, I actually wanted to discuss why I haven't been uploading in a while, and the future of this playthrough. But, before we can get into that, let's get to the cutscene for the next mission. Uh, okay. Alright, let's go. Good morning, Dr. Go! Hey, you know, I saved your life. Doc, least you could do is thank me. Thank you? This is an insult. I will not say those two words. Yeah, well, how about these three? Don't kill me. Uh, ahem. Don't kill me. Come on, Doc. Say it like you mean it. If you need some extra motivation. Don't kill me, please don't kill me! That's more like it. Now just keep saying that, and it might even keep you alive. You look a little rough around the edges, Doc. Not that I care. I would not expect you to care. But yes, I was roughed up by some ninjas. You ought to take better care of yourself. You're no good to me, Dad. Nor to myself. I suppose you are ready to correct on our bargain? Check out the big brain on Doc. Yeah, it's time for you to pay up in information. No beating around the bamboo, Doc. I want the location of the KGB base. Fair enough. The base is... Inside the volcano. What? No buts, Doc. Or I go all Iron Chef and get out the monkey cookbook. No, no. It's just, you need three security codes to access base. Codes? Oh, for art food. Okay, what are they? If I had them, I would tell you. But sadly, I do not. Oh, this just gets better and better. <laughs> One code is held by KGB Rida, Agent Sasha Soysorsky. The second is kept by enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. Third code is in my briefcase, which was stolen by Brack Ninja and taken back to their base. Well, at least now I know the score. I'll start with the Black Ninjas and your code. Good plan. And while you are finding my code, I would try to ascertain locations of other two code keepers. Right on. I'm off to fry some black ninjas and find that damn briefcase. Oh, here. You need key to open briefcase. Don't lose it. Only one I have. Whew. So... Oh my god. Give me a minute. So, you're probably wondering why I haven't been uploading in a while. If not, then that really says a lot. But the reason why is because I haven't been enjoying the playthrough as much lately. And I haven't been feeling satisfied with the quality of the videos. Now, I want to make one thing clear. It does not involve the game itself. I love Destroy Humans 2 back in the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 4. Back in the PlayStation 4, what? No, never mind. But the game itself is fine. The problem is the commentary. So far in the playthrough, my commentary has been subpar. It's been annoying me since I kind of started. So far, I've been trying to make up for this by putting more editing in my videos. Um, man, 
the game is tricking me. <laughs> but I don't think that's gonna no work. If anything can be. The year of the monkey itch, and I am gonna scratch it good. Oh boy. Anyway, anything can only take me so far. Plus, outside of recording, I have been enjoying the game a lot more lately. So, so is this the last episode for the game? For the playthrough? No. Now, I want to make one thing clear, or, well, I already said one thing. <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to make it sound as if I'm forcing the playthrough just for the sake of completing it. I do want the satisfaction of having an entire playthrough series on my channel. But I don't want to make it sound as if I'm forcing it or rushing it. So what's the plan here? Um, well the plan is I will be using a script for my life. And well now you'll notice how my commentary has improved a bit. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. I I have to check the post recording. Um, but yeah, hang on. Uh, yeah, uh, let's kill these ninjas. I know these ninjas are very annoying. They're very distracting to my commentary. Um, well, previously I've gone without using a script and just improvised everything on the spot. And this has resulted in just quick comments and just poor humor. With the script, hopefully we'll see an improvement to my commentary. Plus, I think I'll enjoy writing the scripts more. You know, this will help, you know, increase the enjoyment value of commentating, if you will. I can probably add a few jokes here and there, and a few stories, you know, that would be nice. Um, hang on, she's <laughs> ninjas again. Very tough to commentate and put new gameplay at the same time. You gotta, I gotta question the whole idea of live commentary. Resides with my exo girlfriend, enigmatically beautiful Professor Yuki. You're pulling my pud. You actually got a chick to go out with you? Oh, yes. And when she hears of my escape from Brack Ninja, I know she'll want me back. Uh huh, yeah. And where do I find the old flame? Go, go. She frequently tends to Zen Rock Garden in Zen Temple. I bet she's a hottie, huh, Doc? A uh, sexy lady, foxy mama, huh? Please don't kill her. No promises. So, back to what I was saying. Unfortunately, because I'm going to be writing scripts, 
episodes will be coming out less frequently. And when I say less frequently, I mean less frequently than the schedule I intended for myself. Um, but I want to fix this. So, after this episode is uploaded, I will be taking time off from making new episodes. Well, actually, no, uploading new episodes. So I can get the footage, play the game, get the script, and edit the video. Uh, this will take time, and but once I can get all of this done, all of it at once, I can start uploading regularly for each episode that I've made. No more bad commentary, and no more late uploads. I also want to make one thing clear. This will not be post commentary. This will be com I will be commentating as I play the game. So that's all. Hopefully this will work out. I know this seems like a no brainer and I probably should have planned this out better. But this is my first real playthrough. So eh, yeah. I'm still learning. I'm trying to improve. Honestly, when I started this, I expected it to be easier, you know, just play the game and talk. That's all it was going to be. Unfortunately, it's a little more complicated than that. Not that much more, but, you know, it takes a bit more effort. <laughs> uh, hang on. I want to take control of one of these guys. Hopefully, they don't mind me doing this. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. The rest of this mission is pretty straightforward. So, let's talk to her. Konnichiwa. Can I help you? Oi, oi. I got good news, Professor. Your main squeeze, Dr. Go, has escaped Black Ninja custody. That is good news indeed. But you are mistaken. We are no longer involved. Maybe not, but I gotta tell you, the good doctor would love to see you. Really? Why should I see him? Because... Because, because why? Just because. Look, there is picture of me under one of rocks in Zen Garden. Find that picture and give it to him. I think of him fondly, but... That is the only thing I have left to give him. My heart has moved on, like summer storm. Ouch. Anyway, if I'm right, then the rock's probably here. I know Jim Kata. All right. Love. Ah. Oh. Good morning. Dr. Go, got a nice picture of your girl from my wallet, Doc. Candid, if you catch my drift. Now, where do I find the last code? The Gaijin who stole Yuki from me has a final code. Cast him and his ancestors. He is a KGB division head called Sasha Soysorsky. Now that's what I call a subtle gag. Where do I find this tongue twister? He is holed up in KGB building in Takoshima City. I think perhaps he is depressed. But in any case, I fear you'll have to destroy a whole building to get him out. Why, doctor, surely you're not suggesting I kill him? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. And it's just a coincidence the Ruski's making time with your chica, right? Don't worry, Doc. I'll wreck the place good and take the code from his dead red fingers. Well, my script ended in the last part of the mission. And I don't know what to say. Except we are gonna blow some shit up. That's all we're gonna do. That's pretty much the mission. Mm. Oh, hang on, wait. The, the ship right here. Well, actually, let's go over here. I think 
These ninjas are gonna get in the way. Uh, whoops, the script ended very soon. This is why it's best to plan this out. You know, with the episodes. Alright. No then. I don't know why the KGB is always... They always have... Anti-air missiles just waiting for me. No matter where I go. I don't see them right... Okay, there they are. <laughs> it's like... How did they get them in these countries? Oh wait, that's not the way there. Now that's what I call a playground of destruction. My only love and my beautiful KGB headquarters. You, oh you destroyed them both. Do you have any idea how much that cost? Oh, I will be avenged. Curse you, Buran. I am atheist, but on off chance hell exists, I swear I will haunt you from beyond. Oh boy. Well. You probably didn't hear it, but <laughs> the guy in the building was, he was weeping his eyes out in that building there. At least when I came in here without a ship. It, it was kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, you couldn't hear it because I was in the ship. Hopefully I killed the KGB agent. Oh, nope, I didn't. He's still moving around. What the fuck? Ah! Damn it! I tried to. G oh my fucking god! <sighs> I couldn't fly. It, that backfired. <laughs> oh well. Okay. This time we won't have this up. I kinda had a lot of health. Either that or I... My... Electric gun has not been doing a lot of damage with it. Oh boy! So all the way over there? The fuck? Yeah. Ah, uh, Eat that... Wait. Isn't that a KGB agent? I'm a little worried. I love you. Brings a freaking tear to my eye. There you go, Doc. The lady's all yours. For the moment. Well, that was a, well, talkative episode. Like I said, I did have a script, but it kind of ended halfway through this. <laughs> um, but, you know what? I will try my best to make a better playthrough out of this. Because I think this game deserves better, you know? So, until next time, I will see you in the next episode, which will probably not be in a while. So, thank you for watching. <laughs>